Well, today is October 23rd, uh, 2012, and I'm on my way up to Sister Bay, and I stopped over at Bailey's Harbor in Door County, Wisconsin. Water is near record low levels, extremely low. There was a severe drought this past summer and actually little snowfall last winter. And so Lake Michigan and most of the Great Lakes are very low. Well, dredging has become a big concern and an effort. And here you can see that they had just been doing some dredging earlier today. It's now mid-afternoon and uh, they've, they've finished for the day. And now what they're doing is letting the bags dewater until uh, they'll be back again probably tomorrow and doing this again. But uh, this allows them the opportunity to do this. And you can see then that the water is uh, running out of the bags now as, as I'm here. And you can also see it dripping here from the bag as it's slowly discharging uh, back into the the receiving water and you can also see how clear this is although this is a very organic material a lot of uh, weed growth in there uh, this is uh, uh, organic material you can see where the machine has made some cuts in here this being uh, towards the end of October it's also a time when the spawning is going on by the uh, salmon and I don't see one right at this moment, but there were several salmon that were swimming in here as well. And that's another thing that's very nice about this process is that the dredging can go on. And because it's like a vacuum cleaner, uh, you don't have the, the consequence of uh, the sediment being agitated and riled up back into the water column. The water is... Uh, quite clean. I'm looking down several feet. You can see where the cuts were made just a short while ago. Uh, again, it's extremely shallow and that's unfortunate. Here's the material, some of the material that's coming out of the bag. It's kind of a sandy, organic material. Outside of the harbor you would see mostly a, a, a white colored sand. Uh, it's a foggy day today. But uh, once it gets in here with all of the plant growth in the, in the bay itself and uh, the algae, it, this accumulates in here and it becomes a real mess. So this dredging is going on and it, I believe it's almost annually now until this water level tends to come back up. But uh, who knows what the forecast will be. You can see here that the Dino 6, which is made by Geoform International out of Olathe, Kansas. Uh, you can see it tied up on the far wall over there and this becomes the guide to be able to navigate the, the Dino safely or this sediment removal system safely and, and correctly, very accurately across the harbor by taking these swats. And here you can see then the other connection on this end and there'd be a similar on the other end and this is mainly to serve as a guide and there's very little pull on it although that is as the auger is working that is the method by which it advances or backs up during the cutting process and here you can see the tubes as I said in the process of dewatering so this is Bailey's Harbor Public Marina Bailey's Harbor Wisconsin up in Door County and today is October 23rd, 2012. And this is being presented by Dave Wentland of Doxon Marinas out of Green Bay, Wisconsin.